New genetically modified seeds means farmers like Perry can now use one of the most powerful herbicides on the market, dicamba, without damaging their crops, even once they've sprouted out of the ground. Down the border of the field where, where it wasn't sprayed with uh, Ingenia or dicamba, it's weeds. We sprayed the field up to right here. See, there's soybeans right there. But for farmers not using agri-giant Monsanto's expensive dicamba resistant seeds, their neighbors' pesticide spraying can reduce their yields, pitting farmers against each other. Kieran Hawkins' brother was killed in October 2016 during a fight with a neighbor over their use of dicamba. Every farmer's rights have to stop when you start causing damage and harm to other people around you. Dicamba has been around since the 1960s, but until the new GMO seeds and reformulated weed killer were launched last year, farmers were careful not to use it once the seedlings had sprouted. In 2017, more than 2,700 complaints were filed about dicamba in the United States. One of the three manufacturers of the pesticide, Monsanto, says the problem is down to user error. The product can be used safely if it is, if it is applied in accordance with the label. Volatility will not cause the product to move off target beyond the buffer zones and cause any reduction in plant height or any economic loss. The U.S. Environmental Agency estimates the dicamba was involuntarily spread and damaged over 1.5 million hectares of soybean crops last year. The federal agency, as well as four states so far, have responded by imposing additional restrictions on the pesticides use.